Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. Following on from our last videos on our free Ordnance Survey route planning software on the overview and how you plan your own routes, on this video I'm going to show you how you can import GPX files routes from third party websites. Lots of different websites out there showing routes, uh, sharing routes, sorry, and just going to give you a couple of examples of ones that we've used before ourselves. So the first website I'm going to go on to is one called walkinghighlands.co.uk and on the Walking Highlands website I can search for walks at the top here, pick an area that I want to search for, so I've got islands, Again, every website might be different but what we're looking for is a download of a GPX file that's the format that we use so if I look on here I've got various islands here so I could go Isle of Skye and if I scroll down on this website it's split the Isle of Sky into different areas so I could just pick an area that I'm interested in and see what walks are on the site so I can see on this site he's got a list of walks he or she's got a list of walks all graded so if there's one I wanted to do that was of interest to me but I want to view it on our planning software the first thing I'm going to do is download it so I'm just going to pick uh, this one here and download it so when I click on this website it's giving me some information about the walk and what we're looking for is an option to download it so show me all the different stages information about the route so I'm just going to scroll back up and I'm looking for the option to download it as a GPX file. So I can see here it's got um, where it's got mapping and GPS, download GPS waypoints GPX. So I'm simply going to left click on there and the website's just got a little disclaimer to say that you are going to carry um, paper map and compass and be safe on the hills which is a sensible thing to do not just using your GPS. So you've got to agree to download the file and then on my computer it automatically goes into my downloads. I'm on a Mac today but on a Windows computer again when you click on that download it should go to your downloads on your computer. So then what I'm going to do is go back to our planning software and I've got an option if I select the three horizontal black bars in the top left of our, the map screen next to the GPS logo brings up a menu and it's got load GPX file so if I left click on there it's in where do I want to load the file from so I say choose file and then it gives you the option to search on your computer to where you've got that file saved. So like I say, if you've downloaded it and you've got them on your desk, um, your downloads, it may be you've been sent a, um, a GPX file on an email from a friend, so you've saved it somewhere um, on your um, computer. So as long as you know where that is, on my computer here, I'm going to go to my downloads because I know that's where that one went. And I'm just going to look at my downloads here. So they're not in date order, so I'm just going to put these in date order. And there's the one that I downloaded at the very top. So I'm just going to highlight that and say open. Same on a Windows computer, you go to your downloads and find the GPX file that you want or wherever you've got it saved on your computer. So if I simply say open now, it's telling me it's loaded. And now we can see on the screen this walk is there. And exactly the same as our earlier videos, our earlier video on editing, you can edit this in exactly the same you do on your own uh, walks. And you can see here it's actually got the, in the your route, it's got the points already named on this one. The one thing I want to check is, especially for a Garmin unit, that a Garmin handheld modern unit, you don't want more than 250 points in a route, otherwise it won't load properly in your GPS device and you'd want to search for another route. I can see here there's actually 43 points, so that'll work fine in my Garmin. And as per the earlier video we showed you, you can edit this exactly the same as you would your own. Just remember if you do edit it and you going to send it to your unit you'd want to then resave this rather than the one you've downloaded from the website if I want to change the name just to make it a shorter name because I know in some GPS devices you, you can only see part you, you don't get a um, loads of text options for the name depending on what GPS device or what you've got so where it says name I can't just simply delete some of that out to shorten the name and if I'm happy see I do make some changes and I've made some changes I can then scroll down to the bottom of this your route box and say download again so now it's going to download it with the new name and any changes that you've made and I'm just going to show you one other website as an example to show you that again so I'm just going to close this your route box down now that I've renamed it with a little cross to the right of your route it will warn me are you sure you want to delete this route I know I've just saved it back to my downloads so I'm going to say okay and I'll just go on to another website that we've used before gps-routes.co.uk and on this website I'm just going to scroll right the way down 
until I see an option that says walking routes. It's got walking routes here in England. It's all set as different counties. So I could pick a county here if I picked say Gloucestershire. Close any adverts down. I know adverts do come up on some websites. It depends what website you're on. So I'm just going to close that advert down. And it's given me some information about Gloucestershire. I'll notice this website's got a filter where you can filter it on the type of walks that you want. If I simply just scroll down, you can see a list of walks here. I'm just going to pick one at random. Um, just go down a little bit further. So we've got this one here in Dursley, uh, four miles. So I'm going to left click on that route name there. And if I scroll down, it's got information, photographs, it's even got a video. But I'm looking again for GPX files. So whatever website you're on, you're looking for an option to download a GPX file. So it's got Cam Peak Dursley GPX. Gives you some instructions about downloading it. I know on my Windows and Mac computer, I just simply left click and that goes into my downloads. I can see in the bottom left of my screen, it's appeared there. So that'll be in my downloads. So if I go back to our Ordnance Survey Route Planner, do the same as I did before, the three black bars in the top left, load GPX file, select choose file from the box that appears and it'll say where do you want to choose from it's remembered that the last place i went was my downloads so i can see it at the very top in my downloads so i'm just going to select open on a windows you can double click and it should open it and we can see now it's got this route in dursley it's exactly the same as before it's got points numbered i can rename them i can delete points i can amend it in exactly the same way you do with your own routes I can save view profile and get the elevation plot. This one I've noticed just says route 48, so it actually hasn't got a route name in, even though on the website it said Dursley. So if I saved that now and sent it to my GPS device, it would be named as route 48. So where it says name, I can rename it here and call it Dursley, whatever you want to call the walk. And then to save that, if you have renamed it or edited it, I'm just going to scroll down to the very bottom of this box. Again, make sure it's got less than 250 via points. So it's only got 27 points, so I know that'll work fine in my Garmin. And I just click on download GPX, and it's now downloaded that one with the correct name, uh, or the name that I wanted to name it. So I hope you found this video useful. On our next video, we're going to show you how you transfer all these GPX files that you've either created yourself on our free route planning software or imported from a website to have a look at on the software into your Garmin GPS device, SatMap GPS device, and also if you've got a GPS Garmin fitness watch, how you transfer these routes onto the devices. So thanks again for watching.